What's up guys, this is Damien with Hosh Online and today we have, uh, we're going to install Clockwork Mod uh, Touch Edition for the Samsung Galaxy S3 and this is the Sprint Edition of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, it should work for pretty much every carrier. I'm not sure internationally if this is going to work. Um, you might want to check the thread. I'll list links below in the description and also uh, links to the files that you're going to need in order to be able to do this. So first thing first, we're going to put the files on our, um, our SD card or in our internal internal memory. I use AirDroid. Um, I've already done this. So uh, they'll, al they'll already be there and we're going to be installing this using mobile Odin and I'm using mobile Odin Pro I think it's worth the $4.99 go ahead and use it uh, go ahead and pay for the $4.99 for the app it's, it's really worth the price because you get so much usage out of mobile Odin when you have a Samsung device it's kind of like Samsung device and you have to have a mobile Odin there's a live version for free if you want to try it out but I definitely think it's worth buying the the uh, pro version so we're gonna go first um, to a uh, file explorer I'm going to use the root explorer their solid explorer FX Astro lots of file explorers but I'm going to use this and it's the, the uh, clockwork mod file, the recovery file, is actually on my SD card. So I'm going to scroll down, and this is the clockwork recovery, recovery clockwork touch 5.8.4.7 for the DTSPR, and that is the latest version of touch uh, recovery for the uh, Galaxy S3, and this is a Sprint edition. You want to do download the a device specific version um like i said this one is for the sprint version so and we're going to rename this file to recovery.img and then select okay and now we're going to go to mobile odin there, there it is mobile odin so well, mobile odin is going to fire up and we're going to search for recovery internal SD card because that's where it is recovery.img and then we're going to flash firmware and you know the regular uh, continue at your own risk disclaimers you definitely want to continue and it's going to reboot and it's going to load into recovery and we should be on the latest recovery and it should be touch Hopefully it's touch. And there we go. So as you can see, this is a touch based recovery. So like I said guys, this was very simple. Uh, didn't take long at all. Uh, now we have a clockwork my recovery. And we're uh, doing this along the line because we're going to be installing a lot of things. And I think a touch-based recovery is actually a lot easier to use instead of the hitting the hand, the buttons, the hard buttons on the uh, on the device. Especially because when you're using the buttons on the device so much, you're wearing those buttons down. And if you're like me, you know, you, you're constantly upgrading, upgrading your, your Android devices. You don't want to put a lot of wear and tear on the devices because of, you know, of course, resale value. But that's, that concludes today's tutorial. If you have any questions, hit me up on Google+. Uh, I'm also on Instagram. Uh, hit me up, dhoshman on Twitter. I'm dhoshman on Twitter, dhoshman on Instagram. Subscribe, 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 guys. If you, if you enjoy any of the uh, videos that I do, it really helps me out a lot if you subscribe. And if you want to click a couple ads, don't mind if you, don't mind if you do. You know? uh, but this has been Damien with Hosh Online, and I will see you guys next vid. Peace.